This video is about morality versus insanity, and this is the short version. I want you to get a piece of paper, write down my six points, scrutinize them thoroughly yourself. Think them through yourself, okay? And if you can't understand why I'm right, then see the longer version, which I'm going to post after this one. It's like 12 minutes or so, okay? I'm going to give you an intro and six points. Some of these points are going to be more controversial than others. And that's when you really got to put on your thinking cap, so to speak. Okay, so the intro. The absence of morality is the absence of more reality. Therefore, it is insanity. When one must consider breeding and timing, this will lead us to the idea that the only way to be good and sane is to rally to the ideal moral point, which must be valid, okay? And to accept being screened out. Number one, social networking exists, and for one to play stupid about the fact that this means evil is enforced as a result makes one crazy. Number two, if a person doesn't live life with at least basic morals, they are crazy. Number three, if a person doesn't present themselves as prioritizing morality, they are crazy. Number four, no culture that is allowed allows people to present themselves as moral. Number five, to pretend I am not the top martial artist after making a four-year up to $100,000 outdoor sparring challenge to establish a true moral order and moving at world record speed while 6'4 during the challenge makes one crazy. Number six, focused moral intensity and, the, and leadership. For one to pretend that I am not the ideal leader, okay, not the only true leader of all of humanity, makes them crazy because of the idea of focused moral intensity and how it relates to me establishing that I'm the top martial arts. There are degrees of morality right more reality more morality more morality more reality more morality where is it the most intense and why and what does that mean for who should be in charge number seven it is immoral for any female above the age of 18 18 and up to reject me whether or not they're married because their relationship is based on the psychological construct, which means it's evil. They have to leave evil and think based on moral, morals with my moral guidance to help them decide who's right for them. It is evil to reject me. As it would say in Psalms, they must honor the king. Heart, and in the Bible, heartache crushes the spirit. Why would you want to crush his spirit? They're insane. I'm the only one that can help them. Thank you.